I'm still in my ta- Hi. Bob. Please don't kill me. Give me one good reason. One, I'd taste horrible. Two, I'd leave and never come back. And three, my dad, the moment he fi finds out I'm missing, he'll hunt you down. That was three horrible reasons. But okay. Besides, you're only little. I couldn't hurt something so cute and helpless. I'm not cute. And I'm not helpless. But thanks for not killing me. You know, most dogs wouldn't give you a second glance. You'd be dinner by now if you'd crossed anyone other than me. Especially since we're low on food and you're considered nourishment. Then why spare me? I'd be feeding your pack. Isn't that worth more than my life? Although that may be. I wouldn't want cat's bloods on my paws. I'd be a target for the rest of my life. Plus, the moon spoke to me when I saw you. The moon spoke to you? Yeah. I know it's unbelievable, but it said you were special and not destined to die yet. The moon has never spoken to me, but my clan says the stars give you messages when in need of an answer. They also say that each star represents a creature in the forest that has passed on. The Star Clan is a group of stars that watch over us cats and give us somewhere to go to watch our loved ones when we pass on. That's pretty much what our pack says, except about the moon. The moon pack lies on the moon and gives us dogs a place to go to watch over and guide our loved ones once laid to rest forever. We are told that every full moon, the whole moon pack gathers and listens to those they love who howl with sorrow and remembrance. Those who are the loudest say they can hear past members of the pack howling back at them, as if to say they are here and well. I wish I could communicate with the Star Clan like that, not just have to wait for them to give you messages. Cat whiskers, oh my gosh. What's wrong? I have to go, my dad's gonna be worried. Wait! What? I didn't catch your name. It's Hope. What's yours? Faith. I'll see you around, Faith. And thanks again for not killing me. No problem. Do not worry. He will be here soon. But it's been forever. There he is now. What took you so long? It just took me some time to catch down a rabbit. I mean, they're pretty fast. Ha, huh. mine's bigger than yours. Therefore, more valuable. Does it always have to be a competition between us? Yes. Stop fighting. Although yours is bigger, Spirit, Faith's game has more nutrients. But then again, that's probably just luck on his part. <sighs> Is everything okay? Dad, since I'm the oldest and the son of the leader, will I be leader of the pack once you die? Of course. As much as your brother would beg to be, it is tradition that the firstborn son of the pack will be leader. What if mother had two dam pups instead of sire pups? Then the firstborn dam would be betrothed to a worthy sire. Why do you ask? Yeah, Faith. Why do you ask? Do cats have the same? Who cares about stupid cats? Spirit, don't be rude. Curiosity never hurt anyone. Yes, Faith. I do believe cats follow the same tradition. I'm leaving you two girls to have your deep and meaningful about hair and nails. It's getting late. We should go too. Dad. Yes, son? Why do we hate cats? Dad, why do we hate dogs? I knew this day would come. Hope, have you ever noticed the moon and stars never touch? Why would they? They're so different. Exactly. Differences keep them apart. Same with dogs and cats. 
Differences in beliefs and intentions keep the clans and packs separated. But why? Why does it have to be this way? Hope, one day you will be queen, and I need you to understand that dogs and cats aren't meant to be together. It has been like this for centuries. Since the dawn of time, the originals made it this way. Why can't it change? What if the originals made a mistake? What if it was all a misunderstanding? What if we're supposed to fix what has been broken? Hope, stop. I know you think it can change, but it just can't. As much as your mother believed it too, I do not believe the way of the past generations can be altered. Maybe you don't, but I do. Only hope and faith can bring them together. Hope, since we were kids, I have loved you. Will you give me the honor of being your mate? Victor, as much as I want to be your mate, I need more time to be free. I don't want to rush into a relationship. Maybe ask me at the end of this moon, and I might say yes. Prolonging what is inevitable is stupid. We're only getting older. So again, please, will you be my mate? The answer yes will come when I'm ready and confident with you and myself. Ugh. Why don't you just tell him you don't like him? He will only keep asking you Oh, heaven forbid, find out. Divine, I am not that dark-hearted. Besides, I'm supposed to marry him. As Father said, he's the most worthy tomcat to be leader of this clan. You're just scared to tell him you've already fallen for someone. And who might that be, Grace? Oh, not the head guard or anything. Who? Thorn? No! He's so up himself. I just don't want to marry anyone right now. Whatever you say. But you have to have a mate by the end of this moon. Or you risk dying a slow and painful death. Whatever. I'm going to go hunt something to take my mind off everything in this clan. Did you know, Faith, that you have to find a mate by the end of this moon? Or what, spirit? They'll kick me out of the pack. No. You put a curse on this pack. Spirit, if I don't find the perfect mate by the end of this moon, it will not result in a curse on our pack. Besides, I don't like anyone. Coral likes you. Do everyone a favor and marry her. Besides, she's a good gatherer. She's like a sister to me. I'm not marrying her. Good luck finding a better mate. I'm gonna go hunt a rabbit or two. I need to get away from you and this pack. I don't want to marry anyone in this clan. I just... I just wish it was divine and not me next in line. Star clan, please guide me. I do not know where to go, or what to do. <sighs> Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Divine and Grace. I'm sorry I couldn't be what you wanted me to be, but I'm better off this way. Must be here. <gasps>